So, you know, TYT, the Young Turks, who pretend or claim to be progressives and, uh, you know, against U.S. intervention, they, they did coverage of Syria's presidential elections. And, of course, it was a carbon copy of everything the mainstream media says about Syrian elections, right? They just baseless allegations of fraud, uh, no evidence to back their claims, uh, claiming that, uh, you know, uh, well— omitting the fact that most Syrians support Bashar al-Assad, just no mention of that, repeating lies about weapons of mass destruction, because obviously they've learned fucking nothing from 2002, because they're idiots. And so, you know, just uh, the, the entire CIA playbook, they just went through point by point, repeating baseless claims, and then they, they say this is journalism. So I, I did a video about that, because they're slandering my country, right? And uh, they think that, you know, Syria is some backwards uh, uh, country, because it does not fit their ideals of Western liberal democracies, right? So they're slandering my country. So obviously I have to respond to that. And uh, they're also just doing a terrible job at, at, the, at the topic. So uh, I focused mainly on, on uh, I think it was Anna and Francesca who have me blocked, by the way. So, uh, you know, they, <laughs> well, make of that what you will. Um, but nonetheless, uh, uh, Susan Sarandon, the uh, Academy Award uh, winning actress, right? She's awesome. Um, she she retweeted um, my work, right? And uh, this is what she said. She said, highly recommend getting another opinion than mainstream media before you have an opinion on Syria. And she's absolutely correct. I think this is true for most subjects in any way. But yes, obviously here we're talking about Syria. So, you know, she's talking about my video about TYT. And Francesca, who I mentioned in the video, right, so, so uh, who, who makes these uh, ridiculous claims, um, you know, she wrote over here in response, Oh my god, Susan Sarandon thinks I'm mainstream media. What a huge compliment. And all because I had the audacity to call Assad a war criminal who's displaced and murdered millions. Anywho, checks bank account, anyone want to hire me? Hashtag between jobs. So... Okay, I, I just want to make something clear, first of all, right? Um, yeah, I, I know it's sarcasm, but I think uh, what Susan is trying to say is that you're shit on Syria. Not that you're necessarily just like the mainstream media, but, you know, you happen to be. So <laughs> both are equally true, right? Both are equally true. And have you, have you realized, have you realized how... Um, there's no response to any of the points, right? So this is Francesca. Look what she says. She says, thank you, Susan, for calling me mainstream media. I'm the stupid fucking clown referred to in the video. Big fan. I'm an independent progressive journalist between jobs right now. Anyway, if you know of any opportunities, let me know. Oh, one caveat. No Asadis money. So she, she's implying that... that I take Assadis money. Wow. Oh, guys, guess what? I have an announcement to make. Apparently, all of you who've donated on PayPal and uh, have been so generous uh, to donate in general and also join on Patreon, where I read out your names literally every time someone donates or goes on Patreon, apparently you are all Bashar al-Assad. Congratulations. Right? So this is news to me. Right? And, I mean... Do you see how they, they can't answer a single point? When, when I made my video about the Young Turks, I, I... Yes, I called her a stupid fucking clown, but that was generous of me. And, then, and that, frankly, that's an insult to clowns. I went through points. She said that Bashar al-Assad controls the opposition. I replied to this point, this claim that she is making. They said that the, uh, the candidates were chosen by him, or may have been chosen by him. I responded to this point. Uh, they said that... Um, it was a sham election, that it was fraudulent. I responded to this point. Th these are points, right? Here, she, she doesn't do any of that. She completely ignores this. So she, she just talks about personal things, right? She says, oh, you called me a stupid clown. Yes, because you are a stupid fucking clown. And then she says, oh, you take Assadist money. And again, it, it's, it's a libelous statement with no proof. Because this is what people at TYT do. They are fucking gutter journalists, right? This is not journalism, what they do anyway. It's conjecture, it's repeating what the mainstream media says, and then they smear you. They make up smears, right? Because what she's doing is, is trying to attack my integrity as a journalist, right? That's what she's trying to do. It's like, oh, you, you take money. This is hilarious. 
And it has nothing to do with the fucking elections. You, do you see how she's unable to counter anything? Not one goddamn point in the video and does not even bother doing that. This is clownery. These people are so fucking dumb. Again, you know, e even, even I did not attack their integrity in such a manner. Now, they've taken Clinton money. Yes, this Katzenberg money, whatever that is. And even then, what did I tell you guys? I said, I don't think that plays that big of a role because they're just dumb, right? So I'm not even attacking their integrity. I'm just saying they're ignorant because they don't know what they're talking about. And then what, what does she do? She comes and tries to attack my integrity and doesn't respond to a single point. They're so fucking hilarious, right? And they do the same thing with Jimmy Dore. They do the same thing with Aaron Maté. They just come up with smears because they don't know how to actually respond to anything to do with fucking journalism or politics, right? I mean, th this is really hilarious. Apparently, everyone who's, who's joined up on Patreon, you guys are all Bashar al-Assad. Wow, how flattering. I, I mean, what, what is that even? Literally, every time someone joins on Patreon, we do a crab dance on the channel. Every time someone donates on, on YouTube or PayPal, I read out the, the Super Chat and their names. Dude, I started, I started my whole career right here on this YouTube channel by myself. I never worked at a fucking outlet before that. I didn't have to do internships. I've been so blessed and so lucky. I, since the beginning, since day number one, I've been independent. Many of these people cannot say the same. They did not start by themselves. They started at networks. They started at TYT. They were affiliated with something. How many of them can say they, do, they did what I did? How many of them can say that? So you want to come here and talk about being independent? You don't know the first fucking thing about being independent. You wish you did, motherfucker. You wish. You wish. You want to come and attack my integrity and make a bullshit because you don't know anything about Syria? You don't know anything about imperialism? You don't know anything? Just proving again how ignorant they are. So they, they want to come here and talk about that, man. I started here from day one by myself on this YouTube channel. I built all of this by myself, and I've been very blessed. Thanks, thank God, alhamdulillah. I've been so blessed to be successful. It's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to every single one of you. That's the meaning of being independent. And then, and then, I was afforded new opportunities in addition, in addition to what I built, to the foundation that I laid here by myself, independently, in the true meaning of the word independent. Right? I was afforded a great opportunity to have a show on Press TV where I call the shots. And that was made very clear from the beginning. I have uh, videos and articles on RT where I call the shots. I pick my own topics in both cases. I talk about what I want to talk about. That's the meaning of independence. They fucking wish they could have something like that. And how many of them can say that they started like I did right here on YouTube on their own, no affiliation with no one? They're so lame, man. It's, it's really hilarious. And you know, you know what's funny is that they are so used to uh, seeing people take money, right, as they did. Although even then, I, I made the point that they're just ignorant. I genuinely think they're dumb. It's not just about money. Because if they took the money it, 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 and that changed their opinion on Syria, that would imply that they actually know what's happening in Syria and then made a conscious decision to change their opinion and report something else. I don't think they have any clue what's going on in Syria. They're just ignorant. So... They, they think that everyone who works in journalism and says something that they don't like takes money. Listen, I want to explain something very clear here. I, I do not, first of all, I do not take Assadist money, whatever that means, um, because Syria has no money anyway. Syria is under sanctions. If you haven't, in case you haven't fucking noticed, you clown, right? Again, she, she, just showing again, she has no clue about Syria, right? Because, you know, after 10 years of war, after the entire country being bombed to bits, yeah, Bashar al-Assad, he has so much money, right? That he's going and giving it to YouTubers. Wow, well done. You're so fucking smart. You clown, well done. So, number one, I don't, I don't take any Assadist money, whatever that means. And they, they, they think that's true. They think that Syrians need to take money to defend their country. You, you don't need to pay me. You could not pay me to defend my country. I defended, I made this video and defended my country against your slander. Because you're slandering my country. That's nothing to do with money. That's nothing to do with uh, not having integrity. These are just smears. This is libel. It's slanderous. Right? And again, she can't counter a single goddamn point that I made. She can't refute a single goddamn thing. And shout out to, uh, to Georgi, by the way. 
right? Provide evidence. They can't. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. So these people are really fucking clowns. They're, they're really... They don't know anything about the Middle East. They don't know anything about Syria. They don't know anything about imperialism. Uh, and then on top of it, they try to attack people who correct them and who, you know, uh, who try to defend their country. This is hilarious. They, they, they think that everyone is, you know, a, a, a prostitute for hire like they are. You know, they, they think that everyone is like their colleagues or something. No, you, 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 you don't need to uh, pay someone to, for them to defend their country, you know, if they actually respect their country. That's not something you can buy, right? And uh, it doesn't matter to them. You think they care about truth? You think they care about logic? <laughs> they don't know anything about anything, man. I, I, this is so pathetic. You really see them going to panic mode. They're like trying to come up with anything under the sun to attack uh, uh, myself, to attack uh, Jimmy, Aaron. Yeah, it's just, this is all they've got. And it has nothing to do with Syria. It, it, this does not refute what I said about the elections. Like, if you want to come here and you want to say the elections are fraudulent, the burden of proof is on you. You made this claim substantiated. You're, you call yourself a journalist. Where is the proof? If you said the elections are fraudulent in the United States, you would be called a crackpot, right? They, they make fun of people who do that in the United States, but apparently it's okay to do that about Syria or to do that about Bolivia or to do that about Venezuela. Why? Because they're fucking brainwashed by the CIA since they're children. They have no clue about anything. They think that any country that doesn't speak English or isn't allied with the United States is a dictatorship and they have no free elections and it's a police state. Every single thing, every myth that they've been taught about Syria, about Iran, about Venezuela is their own fucking country. It's, it's projection of the highest order. The United States, Britain are police states with these bills that they've passed. The United States has the biggest prison population in the world, right? The gerrymandering, uh, preventing minorities, the, the, the voter suppression, making it difficult, closing down thousands of uh, polling stations in Texas and other uh, states in the last couple of years. I mean, you want to come here and talk to me about democracy? Look at your, your fucking press. You have, you have the most... Uh, <laughs> they, have, they have the most complicit state media apparatus of any country. And, and that's true for both the, uh, Britain and, and the U.S., Every single thing that they say is projection. All of it, right? It's unbelievable, frankly. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. But I, I did laugh. I, I really find this funny because, <laughs> you know, it, it's just like... They're, they're crackpots. Again, they, they think that if they repeat... Um, CIA propaganda about Syria that it makes it true, right? Oh, they, they, look, the election was a sham, but we don't have any proof that it was a sham. The burden of proof is on you. You made this claim, which is a, an, an enormous claim. How on earth do you not substantiate that? And then they lie as well. They say there's a Kurdish minor, a majority. Where is the majority? Yes, there are lots of Kurds in, in northeastern Syria, but they're a minority. It's just basic demographics. You can look it up on Google. Anyone could look that up. And then they say that people are not allowed to vote. It's not true. What are you talking about? And they don't tell you that Syrians support Bashar al-Assad, the majority of them. They, they omit this key basic fact. You don't think that's important to a state? And then they repeat the lies about Duma, the Duma gas attack. What is wrong with you? Like, th these people, they make Alex Jones look sane. Why are you coming here and repeating lies about WMDs? Have you learned nothing from 2003, you fucking tool? You fucking blockhead, you moron? What is wrong with you? Have you learned nothing from fucking George Bush, you stupid assholes? Have you been living under a fucking rock? Why would you believe anything about WMDs from, from the West? Not to mention, you have proof, proof from the OPCW that it didn't fucking happen. Why are you denying science? What is wrong with you? Are you an expert in forensics? Are you an expert in ballistics? Do you want, are you conducting toxicology reports? How do you report on Syria and you, you've never even been there? You don't even speak Arabic. You don't even know anyone in Syria. You didn't even bring on anyone from Syria on your show. You just talk out of your fucking ass and repeat uh, uh, you know, bullet points that are released by the fucking DOD or the FCO. What is wrong with you? You call that journalism? You're a fucking stenographer. You're just fucking reading a, a readout from the State Department. And they talk about state media and, and democracy. Oh my God. Oh. They're incredible. 
Their, their stupidity is, is, is truly astronomical. I mean, it, it's, it's a, of, of truly staggering proportions. And then they, they make up, they just make shit up because, you know, what else can they do when, when someone, you know, hands them facts? They can't counter anything, so they just make things up. They try to smear you, and they, they don't answer any of the points, right? And they... It's hilarious. It is hilarious. So anyway... So anyway... Just remember that. Just remember that. How many of them can say that they started 100% independently? Very, 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 very few. You can probably count them on one hand. So th that's thanks to you. I, I want to remind everyone that that's thanks to you, and I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful, right? So they, you know, they can they can talk all they want. It's it's just noise. And once again, they don't answer any of the claims about the election. So as far as I'm concerned, this is garbage. This is garbage from the beginning to the end. It's garbage. That's all they know how to do. They smear people. That's it. They're smear artists, and they they pretend to be progressive. Right, they pretend to be, oh, we're against the establishment, you know, we're like independent. <laughs> oh man, you're funny. You're really clowns. <laughs>